All right, the next next step is PLC operation. Okay, you might be wondering what is the PLC operation. So just to tell you, this drive has an internal PLC inside. Okay, sounds sounds weird, but yes, this drive has internal PLC inside. You know, by which we can have different set of speeds with different time intervals, and it's very interesting. Okay, so how to achieve you know many times you suppose have a vessel in which you have a mixer and you want to mix that you know any any material in that at different frequency at different times you have set a recipe for that for an instance let's talk about recipe i have a recipe if i say i want four step to be 10 hertz then i need 20 hertz then i need 30 hertz then 40 hertz and 50 hertz then 10 hertz and back to zero then again start the cycle again so i can have seven step speeds inside it without using any without using any external terminals i'm not going to use any terminals to give to change the speed but i can set the speed inside that and then using different time intervals i can change the speed this is what a recipe is which we can make using the internal plc of this drive okay so what are the steps first is we have to set the frequency so i have by default set the frequencies in my drive so let me show you parameter 17 so 17 has 10 hertz okay second step is 15 hertz third step 17 hertz fourth step 19 hertz fifth step which is 20 21 hertz 21 and sixth step is 22 seventh step is 25 so i have already set the frequencies in these seven steps okay now we have to set the time now time is let me show you the first frequency which is 10 hertz will run for this much time the time which I'm going to enter here so it says time duration of full step speed so parameter 81 so parameter 81 let's go to 81 5 seconds okay 82 it's 5 seconds again 83 5 seconds 84 5 seconds 85 5 seconds 86 5 seconds 87 5 seconds so I have entered five seconds in all the time decided back end okay this is five seconds so every step will run for five seconds okay now the question is how this step will be executed in that case there are two more steps first is you have to enable PLC mode okay in 78 parameter you'll find by default this PLC mode is disabled so we have to enable it we have to enable it to zero one now zero one says execute one program cycle it means first the first step will come then second then third then fourth up to seventh then plc will stop the drive will stop that is only one step okay so let's put zero one in 78 to have just one step this is the mode one of the plc okay now the question is how this will be executed what will be the start command should i press run from here or from here no it's not that we have to assign a function to one of the any of this terminal to work as plc internal run so let's take m3 okay m3 is parameter 40 in parameter 40 i will enter again is parameter 40 is m3 and this i have to enter plc run run plc program so i have to enter 16 in parameter 40 okay so parameter 40 i have to enter 16 it's by default 6 which is the multi-step speed it's 16 now this PLC mode will run when I turn on Y3 which is M3 okay if I don't turn on Y3 if I just turn on M3 M M30 which is Y0 it will start the motor at this frequency this is the normal operation of the motor which is going on fine perfectly fine this is forward and this is reverse okay but what if I turn on Y3 which is M3 which is internal PLC command and this will start the steps so have a look when I set this on this is the first step 10 hertz then after 5 seconds second step 15 hertz okay and if you want to see the edge this is the edge output frequency third step 17 hertz it is incrementing fourth step is 19 hertz then 21 then 23 and 25 okay this is the steps this is increasing automatically 22 and the last is 25 All right. Then after five second motor will stop. Okay. So if you want to see again, this is again on. If I turn it off and turn it on again, it will go for the second step. Second cycle, same cycle. And if you want to see the time, 
this is the time first step this is the second step this is this is the time this is decrementing for the third step this is the time so it shows the time how much time is left for for the steps if i stop the plc here it will stop the plc operation if i stop the spit m32 so it will stop y3 it will stop the plc so if you want to run plc operation turn on y3 if you want normal operation turn on y0 okay so if i turn it off now i can run my motor at normal speed by running this y0 which is 8.9 hertz this though this was internal plc operation mode 1 in second video we'll see internal speed operation mode 2 all right thank you